everyone, it's Jamie here from FX Learning. I hope you're having an incredible December and you're all set and prepared for Christmas because I know I am. Uh, as you can see, I've got a couple of decorations in here. We haven't got the tree up yet, but that is coming soon and I'll be uh, making some videos with my Christmas hat on. So yeah, my trading this year has officially stopped last Friday. So all this week, the next week, week after that, that is me done. I am no longer trading for 2018. I am now focusing on 2019. And it's been an incredible year for myself with my own personal trading. Uh, and I go into 2019 now trading both Forex and binary. Uh, I didn't really trade a lot of Forex in 2018, but up until the last few months, I've decided to kind of make that switch. I want a kind of uh, multi-income stream. I think, well, if I can trade binary, I might as well start building up my Forex account and trading both at the same time. So that is my plan, my personal goal for 2019 is I want a 50-50 split income. So I'm making my money in binary and also I'm making money in Forex. So yes, I just wanna give you a quick rundown on where we are with the binary destroyer. So over the last two weeks, we have been intensely testing the new 6.0. I've sent it out to all of our admins. So over the last two weeks, we've kind of been throwing out different settings. They've been testing it. So this video here is I just wanna show you uh, their review on the 6.0. I know a lot of admins have made their own little personal video on what they think of the 6.0, how it's performing. So so I'm going to show you their videos of what they think of it and how it's performed for them. And so what I also want to talk about is the members there, which I know I haven't really spoke about recently. You've kind of all been kind of messaging me about the 6.0, but we are building a fully bespoke members area with all our training in, all our online courses, all our PDFs, all our webinars, homework, everything is in there. It's completely free for the VIP members. Obviously, if you are a member already, you'll get that free of charge. So when you join us, you'll get your fully bespoke members area. We'll have free trading rooms, which will be the Facebook, Telegram, and WhatsApp group. And then all our training, homework, support, and everything will be in the members area. I'll quickly show you a bit here. This is our members area and you can see we've got all our recorded webinars, our money management and then we've got all our strategies down here and you can see we've got a PDF on all our strategies, we've got a video, we've got an online course which you can take and obviously down here if you click on that you can watch uh, some of live trading of us trading that strategy. And also that is my, uh, say hello Maddie my rabbit has decided to make a house on my, uh, made himself a home on my, um, on my desk because we're currently in the process of moving house and uh, everything's in boxes. So he now currently lives on my desk. So if you wonder why I lose all my phone wires and you'll get eaten, it's because of this little rascal here, ain't you? So yeah, when are we gonna release the members area? When are we gonna release the 6.0? I'm gonna be releasing it the week of Christmas Day. So that week, which is probably like two weeks away, we're gonna be releasing the members area and the 6.0. So everybody, every BD member, when they go into 2019, January the 1st, they will have a fully bespoke members area with their own username and login, and they will have the brand new 6.0 to start playing around with. I quickly want to show you my 9 to 5 challenge. If Let me just load up my C Trader. So I've been doing a 9 to 5 challenge account. I don't know if you're aware of it, if you've watched my previous videos. Basically, I am, uh, I'm basically trading the Binary Destroyer 6.0 for only two hours a day. And all I'm doing is taking signal arrows outside the zone. So arrow appears outside the zone, I take a trade. It couldn't be any more simpler. And I'm showing them, well, I'm showing you lot how you can build a Forex account up using just a simple, simple strategy, but using a proper money management. I'm only trading it for two hours in the evening. And, and yeah, I'm currently up. Let me just show you here. Uh, I'll show you my history. You currently see down here, I am up 
uh, you can't see a hundred and thirty four pound which is around thirteen percent so it's not bad in two weeks I've made thirteen percent only trading two hours which is not bad at all so yes um, I'm not going to keep rambling on everything I'm going to show you the videos now that all the admins have shared to the members about the 6.0 it gives them it gives us their opinion on it and what they think of it and how it's performed for them so yeah here they are Monday morning guys it's about 35 40 minutes into the new week of trading um, this was the open here first arrow I never took it, I just marked it because the spreads is ridiculous at this time of the day. If I'd have took this trade, the spread would have been up here somewhere. I'm not doing that. So this was the second trade. So if you'd have done this one on binary, you would have had a good win on just about any of the expiries. Um, I'm showing you this because anybody that knows anything wouldn't, wouldn't take a trade uh, at the open on a Monday morning, but um, as you can see, easy winner. Another one here for binary, 10 or 15, easy winner. Um, you couldn't, I can't really show you this with Forex because where the spread's going to be, but let's just say for argument's sake, uh, we'll go with the spread was here, okay? It's going to be higher than that. It will be probably up here somewhere at this time of the day, but we'll just work it here. So, um, three, four. Yeah, might just get five pip pips out of that one. And this one here, you'll, you'll be still in the negative because it's going to be up here. But if you're doing binary at this time of the day, you would have had two winners on the Aussie dollar. Um, this would have been your first trade here. So you would have got in here. Uh, let's see, 10, 10 minutes is a winner. And 15 minutes is a winner. That's on pound dollar. Uh, your first trade would have been here. Ten minutes is a winner, and fifteen still running. Here's the open up here. Oh, easy winner on binary, up to thirty minutes. Like I said, you wouldn't bother with forex at this time of the day because you, your spread's going to absolutely annihilate you. Nothing on that pair. This could have been your first loss. We're still running. We've still got a, another minute for 10 minutes on pound yen. Cat, okay. you would have won no matter what time frame up to 30. Uh, you open down here same deal any trade on binary up to 30 you would have won on the Aussie yen and same on the euro pound and Yeah, so anyway. Hi guys, uh, Michael here. Uh, just running a test on the BD6 this week. I just thought I'd run through two trades that I've done um, to kind of help you out with the whole trailing stop loss scenario. Um, rather than let it just run, you know, for your target, you can actually just, you know, trailing it will be a lot better. So I've got a signal here, not the greatest signal in the world to be fair. I've got a high, low, higher, high comes down again then I get a lower high so I'm not overly confident with this one but I thought you know I'll just take the trade see if I can squeeze some pips out of it um, mark it up like normal um, and see what I can get out of it so I 
I've already placed the two trades on my C trader. One's to shut about four four pips plus, and then the other one's to trail stop loss and see where it ends up. So. And as you can see, it's moving, you know, nicely in the money up to about six pips, give or take, at the moment. Um, right, let's go through. Here we go. I go on there now. I literally move my stop loss to two pips in profit. Well, this one I did three, so I don't know why I did three. I was thinking it's just should have done two. Um, about three-ish on both of them. Moving my take profits out of the way, so in case it spikes up and takes me out. Uh, so that trade now is fully locked in. I can't lose that trade at all. There is no way I can lose any money on that. Worst thing I'll do is walk out of two trades with 3.2 pips and 6.4 pips. I would have ended up. Um, shut one down. I think I shut this one around about five pips. Shut that one down. So now I'm just going to literally trail my other um, trade. There you go. So I moved that now to 6.1 pips. Um, again, knowing that this trade's going to just turn on me. Come back down, so I'm not going to get too greedy with it. Um, there you go. That's closed down now. Um, as you can see on the bottom, first trade's 5, second one's 5.6. So 10 pips in literally a couple of minutes. Not on a, on a trade I wasn't happy with, I ended up in profit. So, right, here's my second one. I was happy with this one because it's a uh, downtrend. Um, you can actually see it's outside the bands, arrows popped, and I've got more than enough confidence in this one to start to go down. Uh, mark it up like normal. Um, so, here we go. Right, I'm away from the computer at this point. Uh, then I come back and see it's about six pips in profit and I was just literally going to close my six pips profit trail the other one and as soon as literally look at that as soon as I get on it there we go watch as soon as I go to do it two positions and bam pop straight up so I'm only in two pips profit now I think I left a note for myself as well yeah was about to lock in my five pips and trail the stop loss. So, you know, I'm sure I'm, I have more than enough confidence it's going to go back down again anyway, so I'm not too fast. Um, so, yeah, there you go. You've got me manually closing one, 6.2 pips. Happy with that. Move my stop loss down to two pips and then move my take profit. Um, if I was sitting there watching this properly all the time, I wouldn't even have a take profit. I'd get rid of the take profit. I'd literally just be trailing that stop loss all the way down um, and just going from there with it, really, on that one. So that's another note I left myself for later. Where are we sitting at now? Yeah, 7.3 pips at the moment, sitting there trailing this. As you can see, you know, sitting about 12, 9 pips, so I'll move it down to my 5 pips now. I'm more than happy with that, sitting at that stage. Um, there you go, that's locked in and sitting at 9 pips at the moment, so go back to this side just to watch it. Oh, here we go. So, move me take profit, move your stop loss now that I'm at 12 pips, down to about 8 pips give or take um, you know just trailing it so seeing how much I can get out of it without actually closing me down but yeah not getting too greedy you know uh, I've already took my five pits secured on that um, and just see where I end up really I was hoping it would let me 
trail it all the way down to the bands to be fair yeah this spike here took me uh, take profit uh, or me stop loss locked in profit and then you can see this <laughs> to be fair this actually pissed me off a little bit if you can see down the last two top trades 6.4 is a manual locked in and I had the other one at 8 pips stop loss and it gave me 7 pips instead of they 8 but if they fancy taking a pip let them have it not really too fast but you know give or take trailed that one um, it didn't actually carry on further down it just carried on going sideways for another 40 minutes so I did get you know I did do well with that one to be fair um, and that was the end of that one Hey guys, I just thought I'd do a quick uh, recap for the week with uh, Binary Destroyer 6.0. Um, been mucking around a lot with the settings. I've already spoken to Jamie about my problems with the settings. Uh, my personal belief is that Jamie should uh, set the settings so we don't have to muck around with them, have the settings uh, basically set and you can't touch them or you can't muck around with them because uh, I'm I've still been getting a lot of um, alerts from price hitting the bands and arrows inside but to be honest when the arrows pop outside um, I've been doing um, 10 pips pip stop 10 pip take profit and as it hits the 5 pip mark I moved the stop in to um, profit by two pips and then I just move it every five pips movement I move it to the next level so and then I just wait till I get stopped out and I've done from one minute time frames up to the daily and um, I've sort of settled on the 15 minute for 4x um, I did a quick calculation also when I took trades on the minute for the binary and to be honest Forex works a lot better doing this I reckon I've done well over 60 trades I'll, over the weekend I'll do a proper calculation and analysis but I reckon I've done over 60 trades and only one was stopped out um, it's a mis mixture of demo and live account and uh, worked pretty good it's just we've got to get that system down before of just alerts on arrows outside bands and um, I'll be able to do a proper test of it um, for binary my calculations were it was running at around about between 60 and just a touch under 80% accuracy for 10 and a little bit more for 15 minutes um, but if you do forex, you can actually decide to close the trades whenever you feel like, or let them run as long as you like. And I just feel you've got more flexibility with it. And in the long run, you'll be a lot more profitable if you do forex. Um, I know you're all probably scratching your head that coming from me, but um, because oh, look, I don't dislike binary or anything like that. It's just woke me up a couple of weeks ago when I. Um, got burnt pretty bad and realised that uh, like about a minute it probably wasn't even a full minute later that the trades if they would run for another 40 seconds they all would have won but instead I lost like two and a half to, you know, it was about two and a half thousand dollars just for the sake of another 30 seconds mightn't even have been that it might have been 25 seconds and I would have made you know somewhere in the vicinity of about 18 1900 profit so that's what pushed me over to forex and i'm sort of glad that all happened because it's uh, kept me there look um hopefully i uh, i can sort out the uh, alert thing um hopefully michael or i think i'm not really sure if john's got it or if anyone else or it's just me and michael who are testing it um but as i said for the arrows that were popping outside the band working very well and um, I'll just leave it there and um, if I can get this get the uh, indicator to do what I want it to do next week 
Jamie seems to think he's got a better file that he might send me over the weekend. I'll get stuck into it early next week and uh, see if we can get some proper testing done and um, I'll try and do a video on it. But at the moment, I'll just leave it there and um, you all have a great weekend and um, I'll see you next week.